Another online privacy concern. We're all familiar with cookies tracking our browser use, but what about something called pixel tracking? You probably don't even know it's there. Here's ABC 3340's Cynthia Gould with this consumer alert. In a crowded Tuscaloosa coffee shop, we couldn't find anyone who knew about the tracking tool. So have you ever heard of pixel tracking? I have not. I know about like cookies and everything, but yeah, I've never heard that term specifically. UAB's computer forensic expert Gary Warner explains pixels allow information to be gathered about visitors on a site, where you are, pages you click on, browsing habits, all sent to third parties for advertising. The pixel tracking sounds a little alarming. Well, it, it is, and yet it's been in place for a very long time, as long as we've been getting marketing emails. You can't see the tracking pixels. They put a invisible one single dot on your screen, but it's really a graphic. While we can opt out of cookies, pixels don't ask. So they're spying on us, in essence. They've always been spying on us. Right now, the only law in the U.S. is going to be about medical information being shared. An investigation by the markup found pixel tracking tools on 33 of 100 hospitals it surveyed. The Metapixel sharing information with Facebook, raising privacy concerns. If I go to a website, a medical website, and they don't tell me beforehand that they're going to track my information, I wouldn't be comfortable finding out after. So I would love to have like some sort of disclaimer at least so I can decide. Class action lawsuits like this one against Wake Med in North Carolina contend a tracking tool installed on many hospitals' websites has been collecting patients' highly sensitive, personal, identifiable information, and the defendant violated HIPAA standards. And you'll notice there are no graphics loaded here. Warner showed us how to find the pixels. This is the Philadelphia Children's Hospital's website. Here's our tracking pixel. It's a one pixel wide and one pixel high tracking pixel. He explains it's telling Facebook we visited the site. Wow. This website offers free baby weight checks. It also has a pixel. They're actually notifying Amazon. And so the line here that I'm highlighting, it's opening a web page inside this web page. Amazon now knows to market baby products to us. There's yeah. there's a hundreds of billions of dollar track record that say uh, that says this these works. ads work. <laughs> to block the pixels, go to your security settings, click not show remote content. But for sites you do want to see, in Warner's case, that's pro basketball jerseys, you need to turn it back on to see the pictures. We're expecting this privacy is going to be a big thing in the Biden administration's next legislative year. Uh, President Biden has already announced that he intends to enforce more European style privacy laws in the United States. UAB and the Brookwood Baptist Health System say they do not use these tracking pixels. St. Vincent's Hospital did not respond to our information request. And Grandview Hospital says its use of pixels is extremely limited and is reviewed for compliance with the law. Meanwhile, sites like Brave promise to block all those trackers.